once you've got your um, profile and tax settings set up, the next step to setting up your books is going to be the chart of accounts. So we're going to go out of settings here. So close settings. And we're going to go into accountant and then chart of accounts. So by default, Zoho creates um, a certain number of accounts in your chart of accounts that um, they've said that most companies are going to use accounts of this or similar types. So for example, you've got um, accounts receivable, you've got petty cash, um, you've got sales, your income, uh, some various expenses, all that sort of thing. If you're migrating from a previous system and you've already got your chart of accounts set up, what you can do is um, use these to put in any that are similar that you've been using in your old system. So for example, um, you have advertising and marketing, but you've called it something different. You've called it uh, advertising expenses. What you can do is click on this account, click on edit, and you'll be able to rename it to match what it looked like in your system already. So advertising expenses, for example. You can also update uh, if you've got account codes, you can put those in here and then enter that into any of the additional ones here. If you're adding new accounts, if you've got other accounts that you need to add in here, what you'll do is click on new account. You'll be able to select what the account type is out of these, and then the account name. And then account code you can add in as well. Um, yeah, so you can go through and put in all of the accounts that you've got and any that you need to put in. If you've got a bunch of accounts that you want to put in all at once instead of going one at a time, what you're going to do is click on these three dots and you can import your chart of accounts. So that will allow you to import the chart of accounts from your old system um, and map it to the according account name, account code, and account type and then it'll mass update it so you don't have to go one at a time. Um, makes it a, a lot easier to do. So this is where you're gonna go into entering your chart of accounts and get all of that set up. Once you've got your chart of, of accounts, you'll be able to set the opening balances to those accounts. So to do that, we're gonna go back into settings. So this gear up here, and then click on opening balances. And this is where you're going to set, um, if you're migrating from an old system, you'll take your trial balance as of a specific date. Make sure that that date that you've pulled your trial balance matches with the date um, that you're setting as your migration date. And then you can go through and fill out all of the uh, current balances for each of those accounts. Um, so that's going to upload wherever you're at, um, whatever amount is in those accounts uh, on that date. And you'll be able to set your opening balances to go forward uh, starting there.